The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O God. Chapter 10, verses 38 to 42. Jesus came to a village, and a woman named Martha welcomed him into her house. She had a sister called Mary, who sat down at the Lord's feet and listen to him speaking. Now, Martha, who was distracted with all the serving, said, Lord, do you not care that my sister is leaving me to do the serving all by myself? Please tell her to help me. But the Lord answered, Martha, Martha, he said, you worry and fret about so many things, and yet few are needed, indeed only one. It is Mary who has chosen the better part. It is not to be taken from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, Today we pray for childless couples for the grace of God to come down upon them. We pray through the Holy Trinity that these couples may be blessed in abundance and with a miracle. Dear brothers and sisters, in life's journey, we have so many blessings come upon us, but we do not realize many a times. The wonder and the wonders of God have come mightily upon us, upon our families, upon the couples and upon every individual. We do not realize the blessings of God unless something has gone wrong with us and then we realize that there is something lacking. When everything is all right and peaceful, we think Everything happens at our own accord. But believe that the Lord is there with us at all times, especially during the times when we have laxities, when we have worries, when we have depressions and tensions. In Genesis chapter 18, verses 1 to 10, there is a mighty intervention of God in the life of Abraham and Sarah. Abraham, as he comes out of his house, he sees three persons, strangers, and he begins to feel within himself the divineness, the presence of the divine in the midst of these strangers. So he hurriedly welcomes them. He goes ahead, he bows before them. He welcomes them. And he literally forces them to remain with him in his house so that he could wash their feet and he could welcome them and send them out with a proper meal with shelter, rest. And these men very readily remain with Abraham. And finally, while they were leaving, 
they bestow blessings upon the wife of Sarah and Abraham. Your wife will conceive, and by this time next year, she will have a child. My dear brothers and sisters, these are the wonders that are worked in our lives. Every couple who has children must be bountifully thanking God for the graces received in abundance. We fail to thank God. At the same time, couples who do not have children must pray very, very earnestly. Serve the poor, be charitable, be generous, just as Abraham was. Abraham was generous towards the strangers. We do not know in what image, in what symbol, in what sign the Lord will come to visit us. The triune God is seen here visiting Abraham. And then further, we have a very interesting incident in Luke chapter 10, verses 38 to 42, where Mary and Martha welcome Jesus. One is busy in the kitchen, taking care of food and serving, putting in the best of time, energy, in preparing food and serving the Lord. And Mary, who is busy being with Jesus, listening to him. Here there are two roles. Imagine in your family you have two children, two sons or two daughters. One daughter is married and the other one is a nun. So one is sitting before the Blessed Sacrament and serving the Lord by listening to him in the convent. And the other one is at home, seeing to the affairs of the family. Of course, also going for Mass and saying her daily prayers. But most of the time of this lay person will go in the household works and duties. So many a times we may underestimate the work of the other. Martha may think that Mary is not doing any work. She is sitting idle with the Lord. But here Jesus is telling Martha when she comes asking for help of Mary, Jesus says, Martha, Martha, you are too much worried about cooking and serving. Not many are needed there, just one, indeed one. And you are there, enough. Let Mary do what she has chosen. And that is the best thing ever. Dear brothers and sisters, Christian vocation to priesthood, to religious life, is a wonderful opportunity to serve God by listening and being. So every family must think about this vocation to priesthood and to religious life. We are more worried about our properties, about the affairs of the world. We have one flat in Bombay, one Pune, we have in Goa and elsewhere, and all our energy goes in fighting for material things. Whatever we have earned, whatever we have gained, yet it doesn't belong to us. Someone else is capturing. But when we are in the presence of God, no one can take us away from this God. Because this God is not one who gives the clingings to material things, but to heavenly things, to virtuous things, to the divine things. 
So my dear friends, let us ask the Lord's graces in abundance at this time so that all of us may do our works well, but knowing that listening and sitting before the Lord is very important. Let us ask the Lord's graces in abundance and pray for each other. Pray for those couples who are waiting for the gift of child. 